it went up and down. So welcome back to Gartex Liquor Heroes Arrive. Let's get right back into it, shall we? Last episode, we left up. Like, what, what was that, like, three hours ago or some shit? It was such a long time ago, man. Look at all this fucking shit we had to do in the fucking meantime. It's the craziest shit ever, dog. Oh, I'll tell you what. Crazy shit. Crazy shit going on. But we're finally here. We are finally, finally, finally at Moloch. Okay. And I couldn't be more ecstatic, my man. Uh, we're we're about to we're about to see what uh, what Moloch's got in store for us. He's uh, you know, he's been uh, doing some dirty 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 yo, you know, and uh, we're we we have every right to figure out what uh, what that means because that's not English. Um, awesome sauce, coolie sauce, spooby blots. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm loving the way this episode is starting off so far. Ah, uh, there we go, there we go. Uh, somewhere, 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 somewhere. Um, so yes, everything is on track. We're just gonna keep track of Moloch's progress as he, uh, continues on here. And also keep track of his progress just so we, uh, just so we can get, uh, get some Bomber Max action going on there. Uh, have him increase the, uh, gold, I believe, Bomber Max does, and then Gog increases DPS. Yeah, 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 that's exactly what we need right there, so... We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna keep an eye on all that. Uh, in the meantime, uh, so, you probably get, you guys probably already know this, since this episode is coming out in a few days, and this, uh, this happened, this, um, or it's, it's gonna come out a few days from what it is today. What it is today, for me, recording, man... Uh, recording in the past for you guys uh, is December 1st and um, in the like three years to however many fucking hours it took for us to get all the way up to Moloch I, uh, I decided to you know just log back into uh, Hearthstone to see what was fucking going on up in there and guess what it uh, everything unlocked and we're able to like open packs so I didn't want to uh, lose the opportunity there so I decided to fucking just and there you go, I got a pack opening episode in Hearthstone, if you're into pack opening episodes, but another huge revelation came after uh, after the pack opening episodes, uh, and I did, uh, and it is multiple episodes if, you, if you're paying attention, because uh, some weird shit glitchy stuff happened in between. But, uh, but it's not, it's not their fault, it's just, like, the servers crash because so many people are trying to get on open their packs as much as possible. But, um, but, uh, yes, so, uh, so, yeah, uh, so it's a couple episodes of pack opening and, uh, collection sort of, uh, glossing or, like, scanning, skimming, uh, see what the, what the cool shit was. And I did get a few, uh, legendaries from that and quite a few golden cards, more golden cards than I think I've ever gotten in any expansion, to be honest, and I've gotten golden legendaries before in, uh, in uh, the first 50 packs of a uh, bunch of stuff, and this is, I believe, like a ton of just regular, none of them were golden legendaries, but I did get like a few golden, like, epics, uh, rares, and comments too, and, you know, it was more than usual is what I'm saying, so it's, um, so it was a good haul, nonetheless, good, definitely go ahead and check, especially if you're into this stuff, and the biggest revelation I made after making those episodes is like, I think I need to bring back Hearthstone, at least bring back, like, arena runs, that way I could, uh, you know, instead of, like, in my, like, playing it in my free time, uh, I just play it and put it up on the channel and make some awesome new content for my peoples to watch, it's, um, Especially since, like, th this early on, uh, it's just gonna get fucking crazy, dog. People are gonna try, like, the weirdest fucking decks. People are gonna have the weirdest, like, craziest cards in their fucking decks, and they're gonna try to make shit work. I remember when, um, Old Gods came out. Uh, not, no, no, not even Old Gods. I remember when, uh, fucking Karazhan came out, and, uh, I wanted to try, like, for the first time ever, a Burgle Rogue deck. I put all four of the burgle things in there, uh, just the regular card burgle, uh, the fucking swash burglar, uh, undercity huckster, and of course the uh, ethereal peddler to make all burgled cards um, uh, cost less. Um, so I did all that, and then uh, I did all that stuff, um, but uh, but I realized like, hey, 
uh, three out of four of these Burgle cards have the Battle Cry like tag on them. So I decided to make like a like a Battle Cry Rogue fucking Burgle deck. I, I put Bran in there, um, and I put, uh, and um, yeah, a bunch of other like Battle Cry stuff and stuff that synergize with like stealing cards or having cards from different classes. For example, I put a couple of uh, the fucking what is it like Holy Champion or something like that. It's the pal the one that gives you the random Paladin card for some reason. I also put a um, uh, the, a couple legendaries in there, Shifter Zerus, because Shifter Zerus could turn into uh, other classes' uh, cards as well. And in addition to that, I put uh, Nexus Champion Surat in there so I can get uh, some spells from different classes as well. And have them all cost like super cheap. And when I first started playing this like really experimental, like weird deck, um, like the fucking craziest games would come out. Like I would, uh, like I even even when I wasn't against like a different class, even when I was like against a rogue, I would toss my swash burglar down, and it would burgle another swash burglar, and I'd toss under city huckster and a huckster another swash burglar, and I'd toss two swash burglars down, and a swash burgle a bunch of like other. It's like it it was it, it was some insane games I was playing to the point where I was like, someone should be watching me playing this because these are hilarious and fun. So I, I thought I'd do a little bit of that. You know, I know, uh, I know, uh, what's it called, uh, what's his face, uh, Crip is famous for doing, like, the arena stuff, and I'm sure he's gonna be doing, like, a billion arena runs right now to, uh, to, to, to do all that, uh, cool, like, new, like, uh, stuff on there. He even has, like, the, uh, Perth, Perth Pwn or some shit like that app where it tells you which cards are the best cards to pick. Uh, and I'm pretty sure he's going to ignore it the first few times because he's going to want to try and make work uh, some of these new cards. Um, and I know, uh, what's his face? Um, uh, Noxious. He likes to do like weird tech decks where uh, where he creates a deck around like one like mechanic or whatever and tries to like make, make it like fun and weird and hilarious. So I was thinking of maybe doing like a mixture of those two where I like, you know, one, one time I do like a arena run and another time I do a weird tech thing, you know? The only thing is like either, either the episodes are gonna be like super duper long uh, especially for the arena runs, if I'm planning on going, like, more than three fucking wins. Um, even if I'm going three wins, it would still be, like, a super epic long episode uh, of three wins and three losses of six entire games, you know? It's, uh, it would, it would be a really long episode. But, um, uh, but I was thinking about doing something similar, to doing something, like, along the lines of just, uh, in one video, playing three games, you know? Uh, the longest game I think that's ever been recorded is 42 minutes or some shit. No, 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 that's a lie. Uh, obviously the record for the longest game ever recorded was like a few, like, days or some shit like that. It was like 20, like, it was like 72 hours or some shit like that because, uh, they, they tossed like a million villains down, uh, and they, they threw out like a million, like, uh, uh arcane missiles and because, you know, it, it, yeah, it, because of all that, it's, it's like, it was ridiculous. Um, <laughs> lasted a billion hours. But, um, okay. Uh, but yes, so, uh, so I was thinking about, it's, uh, regardless, but the average, average game is, I believe, like 10, 15 minutes long. Maybe 20 if you're, if you're, like, going into, like, fatigue mode. And people going into like late, late fatigue, like control warriors and shit like that, go up to like 40 minutes, like fat warriors, I believe I've heard them, them called before. But, uh, but yeah, so, um, so yeah, so I'm, I'm definitely not gonna do none of that. I'm looking to make some pretty, like, either mid range or like fast decks. The only control y type of deck that I've ever played is like, uh, a rogue deck. It's called, I call it like Burgle Reno God. It's, it's some fucking crazy shit. I'll tell you that much. Uh, but, uh, it's a Reno deck with two, uh, old gods and just a bunch of burgled stuff going on. It's, it was weird shit, but it, it definitely got to fatigue, uh, quite a bit. But I'm not trying to do none of that right now. I'm trying to, uh, just try to make some of the, the legendaries that I got work for me. One of them being, like, uh, a 2 mana 2 2 warrior legendary, where it gives all your, uh, weapons, like, extra attack and stuff. Um, and another... 
And another, uh, uh, sorry, excuse me, um, <laughs> Uh, and another, the, the Shaku, the shark dude, or whatever. Uh, no, not Shaku, it's like, it goes in the shark. I didn't get Shaku, I kind of wanted Shaku. But, uh, the, the hose in the shark man, uh, dude, it's, it's crazy fast aggro decks, the, the fucking crab hammer man, the crazy fast, like, warrior aggro weapon decks. And then, was the, oh, and then I got white eyes. Uh, the mid-range slash control shaman with white eyes could be interesting. Um, I'll just have to you know, try to make it work because uh, I'm not a big big shaman player, uh, to be honest. Um, I would maybe try to see if I can do like another like Reno deck. I like Reno decks. Reno decks are fun. <laughs> I like dropping Reno in a Reno deck uh, against an opponent and they'll just be like, well, fuck me. And then they quit the game. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot more difficult, I think, once uh, it you know next year comes around and um, and uh, they they cycle the not just um, what's it called uh, yeah not just uh, TGT but they're also gonna cycle out Black Rock Mountain and um, and uh, la, 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 the League of Explorers. So, yeah, we're gonna get no more Reno, no more Bran, no more Elise, uh, no more, um, no more Finley, the big guys in that, uh, in that, uh, one, um, in that, uh, expansion, the, the ones that are super duper fun, and, um, and, yeah, like, I don't know what people are gonna do for, like, you know, the healing game at that point, the control game, it's gonna be, like, it's gonna be interesting, the meta's definitely gonna switch up, Quite a bit after uh, Reno leaves. Uh, I don't know if uh, control decks would be viable anymore outside of like Freeze Mage and shit. Speaking of Freeze Mage, Freeze Mage got a couple of tools this uh, this expansion. Uh, some interesting stuff. Um, you know, more, more like secret synergistic stuff, which is awesome, uh, especially for Freeze Mage because they like to pop down that uh, ice block pretty early and. You know, anything that synergizes with uh, secrets is great when you have ice block because hopefully you're not down to one HP your next turn or next few turns at least. So I got some nice stuff going on. I don't know if they'll use any of like the actual like freeze mechanic stuff at all outside of like frost note or blizzard or anything like that. Uh, just because you know that one potion of freeze that's zero mana just freeze any enemy. That's kind of kind of weak sauce right there unless you like combo with shatter. Uh, but like that's like a two card three mana like removal. That's it's just not worth it for like two spots in your deck as opposed to like one spot in your deck, which is which would be polymorph, uh, which is sort of it's almost complete removal. You, you just leave it with a one one, but you know it's still like a really, really good and efficient removal right there. Polymorph. And it's, that's only one one extra mana, which is like. And it's only costs one card in your uh, thirty card, you know, deck slot, you know, slot. Well, only one single card slot in your deck slot. Suck my dick. Um. So yeah, a lot of lot of interesting stuff going on. I did, I did, I did create a deck. Um, for arena. Uh, definitely, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I definitely used the fucking, the, uh, what was it called? Hearth Arena, like, website to sort of, like, fucking figure out which one's the best thing, because I'm trying to... <sighs> Excuse me, I'm trying to win, obviously, you know, I don't want to lose, I want to win. I would like to choose some of the, uh, the new cards. Uh, as opposed to like the old ones that I ended up cho choosing, because I know I'm a little bit better, and apparently they're slightly better too in Earth Arena. But I did choose a few like of the new ones as well. Which which new ones do we have in this deck? Just so I can give you like a advanced, you know, heads up as to what's happening here. Um, let's see. Okay. Oh yeah. Definitely high tier one that they put on Hearth Arena was Mistress of Mixtures, the one mana 2 2 death row store 4 health to both players. That's really good, apparently. I totally agree with that sentiment that it is really good because um, it's basically like the new, uh, basically like the new, uh, what's it called? Uh, the 
new uh, zombie trap. It's very, very good. It also heals you too, so it's like sort of it's aggro-y, but it also it it's anti-aggro-y as well. It's uh, it can be used both ways. It's pretty awesome. Excuse me, I definitely uh, threw down a, a gadget sand socialite as well. Uh, I, I I believe I stated in the um, in the pack opening video that I got it in because I remember because I only have one of them in my actual uh, in my actual um, you know playset that I the, for constructed. Uh, but um, I said it wasn't too powerful. It's actually like now that I'm thinking about it, it's basically just like a, a markdown um, earthen ring farseer. Whereas Earthen Ring Farseer is 3 mana, 3-3, three, three, uh, restore 3 health. This one's 2 mana, 2-2, two, two, restore 2 health. Um, which is, I, I don't know, as a 2-drop if it's good, uh, it'd definitely be interesting. Uh, on turn 2, I'm not sure if it'll do much unless you had a really crazy 1-drop. Uh, I guess like 1-drop would be uh, the Whelp. Or uh, in this case, in the, in the case of my Arena deck, it would be... Um, the mistress of mixtures because you know maybe it'll go against like a one attack minion and once once it's done they'll heal up turn two it's like you know get, there could be some synergies here but i could see some maybe synergies and maybe some uh, like uh on curve stuff happening possibly but also it's just really cheap heal that you can uh you can put on yourself if you need to um it's not as good uh, if you if you're like running brand I guess and uh, construct it just because uh, it would be like a five mana uh, five mana drop uh, the two four drop the two two and then heal four health because the battle cry triggers twice uh, I don't know if that's good I like it better with the uh, you know I like it better with the earth ring farseer because it does like six health and it's like it's a little bit more um, stats on the board as well it's a uh, you know it, you, you go a little bit uh, farther. You get a little bit farther with that uh, battle cry uh, using brand than you do with uh, this battle cry, but it is cheaper. So who knows? Maybe, maybe five. Since uh, people die in at turn five against some of these aggro decks, maybe that's a good uh, price point to put it at. Who knows? Uh, what else do we have in here that's new? Uh, oh shit! So I got Naga Corsair. That's the four mana five four pirate battle cry. Give your weapon plus one attack, which is uh, it's awesome for. Um, it's awesome for Rogue, because I just get a weapon using my Dagger Mastery, like, hero power. Uh, but also, it's, it, apparently the stats are just really good enough to where, it, you know, it's good in, like, any circumstance choosing it above other things, because it's, you know, really good stats, 4 mana, 5, 4. It's pretty good. Uh, it's just slightly, like, even more better in my deck, because I have like, weapon stuff, like, guaranteed weapon stuff going on. So that's fun. Oh, I did have a, I did get a legendary in this uh, arena deck too. It's Illidan Storm Rage. Uh, I had a choice between the Boogie Manster, uh, the the Baggy Man. Oh shit, this one's going on. Sorry, this video's going on for a while. I didn't even realize. There's a choice between Boogie Monster, Patches the Pirate, the new one, the new Pirate Legendary, and uh, Illidan. Illidan's the best one, but Patches is a close second, which is weird. Uh, mostly because I have pirates, I think. But uh, anyway, like, subscribe, comment if you're enjoying the series thus far. I know I am. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out!